Hi guys, it's people at Haribo. Thanks for requesting the secret formula to quickly picking up advanced breaking moves. So the secret formula is something that I kind of stumbled upon when I was just beginning in breaking. When I was starting, I never really had someone there to, who had all these advanced moves to say what I was doing right and what I was doing wrong. So what I did uh, to get these advanced moves is kind of what you guys are doing is you look to the internet. And when I was starting, the internet was just growing so it isn't as advanced as it is kind of today. So what I did and what I realized is the first most important part uh, of uh, get, getting these moves quickly is being able to see the move and break it down in your head into step-by-step -step chunks. So what I would do is I would look at the move and then basically say, okay, here's the first part, the second part, the third part, the fourth part, or however many sections there were to it. Then I would tick off each section as I went. So I wouldn't try skip a section because then it would, uh, I would mess up the start or something. So basically the first step of the secret formula is being able to break the move down into step-by-step -step chunks. Okay, so the second part of the formula is visualization. So the reason why that's so important is because, and this is, goes for all sports and even uh, any type of achievement, you need to be able to see yourself do the result that you're after first in your mind for it to be real. And you don't just do this once, you're like, you see a move, that's what most beginners do, they'll see a move and they'll say, right, boom, I've got it. No, you have to visualize yourself do this every time you go before training, before you do the move, just so it's in your head. And the more you can visualize it, the more crystal clear you see that move in your head, the easier it's gonna be. Um, if you were to just visualize it, vi visualize it once, uh, it's not gonna be clear. You're not really gonna understand it. So being able to see the move crystal clear, know exactly what's happening, and more importantly, seeing yourself do it is where you'll make some incredible breakthroughs. And that's why here at the Breakdance Academy, we use a lot of slow motion so that you can see exactly what's happening in the move. So the third step is feedback. As I was saying before, when I was training, I never had really had someone there to help me um, uh, with those advanced moves because they never had any. So I looked at the internet. So you could be learning a new move and then just be doing the same bad technique over and over and over again. Whereas all, all it would need for me to be to say to you is like straighten your leg or put your arm here and it would make all the difference. And that's why feedback is so critical because I can see or someone who's been where you're trying to get to before can see exactly what you're doing wrong. And once you make one small change, boom, it, it, it will save you time and effort and all these type of things that come with training. So that's why uh, feedback and mentorship is a key component of the Breakdance Academy. We're here as a community to help you grow as a b-boy. You can ask anything from help me with my windmill to I want some more confidence when I'm battling or in the circle or style-wise how to dress, whatever you want. So we're all here to help you grow as, as a b-boy or b-girl. So with that said, um, if you haven't seen it already, I'm releasing the break, the Power Move Mastery course at a discounted rate. And I really recommend that you go ahead and implement what you've learned here and put that into action with the Power Move Mastery course, which has all the formula built, in it, built into it. So that makes learning each new move a uh, hundred times easier. So if you want to do that, go check that out. Um, if not, I hope this uh, advice has helped you and you go into training with a clear strategy and plan. So keep training and I'll see you guys soon.